Earlier this year, I predicted more feminist fails for 2015. And one of those really stupid feminist causes was the issue of man spreading. Well, it turns out the feminists, ugh, they're winning on this one so far as two men have been arrested for man spreading in New York. Yes, sitting with your legs slightly too far apart, as it used to be known, has apparently become a criminal offense. Now, rather than simply throwing out these charges, the judge issued an order that only guarantees that these men won't suffer any further repercussions if they avoid getting arrested again in the near future. Now, the term manspreading was coined by feminist bloggers who started tracking this antisocial behavior on public transport, but it has reached the real world, too, and so it's been banned in New York and Seattle. <laughs> Goodness, it's so insane. But this has prompted a counter movement, counter shaming called she bagging. And this is, you know, all in the name of equality. Twitter users are now shaming women who take up an extra seat with a handbag, a shopping bag, dog, or plants, all sorts of things. So this is what it has come to is just arresting people for not being aware of personal space, not being polite. And, you know, if you scroll down there, you can see some of the men that are caught manspreading are giants. They don't even fit in one seat on the plane. But here, this lady's taken up three seats. So, you know, this is what it's come to. The policy is, it's most likely going to be used to harass people and just, you know, be an excuse to harass people, most likely minorities. So they can say, oh, sorry, you were manspreading. It's, uh, you know, the land of the free, home of the brave right? Uh, land of the fee, home of the slave, I believe they call it now.